हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम एकनाथ पाटिल फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन ऑफ के आई टीज कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एटोनॉमस कोल्हापुर अंडर द वायरलेस मोबाइल कम्युनिकेशन मोबाइल वेव प्रोपोगेशन विल सी एंड इन दिस द रेडियो प्रोपोगेशन मैकेनिज्म विल टेक द इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द रिफ्लेक्शन रिफ्लेक्शन इज नथिंग बट द इफ द size of the wave and the size of the object size of the object is greater than the size of the wave in that case what happens the signal is incident on the surface and it is reflected back so that is that is nothing but the reflection uh, reflection occurs when the wave incident upon obstruction much larger in size compared to the wavelength of the signal so example is reflection from the earth and the building these are the uh, some examples of the reflection reflected wave form may interfere with the original signal constructively or destructively so this particular constructively um, um, uh, reflected wave and the destructively uh, reflected wave that particular point is also very important because at the time you know uh, you may know that the in any building you are getting the signal in one corner uh, more signal you are getting and in another corner you are getting the less signal so it it may happen and um, why it happens because of the constructive uh, interference and the destructive wherever the constructive interference is there at that point the addition of the different signals um, uh, will be there uh, reflected signals will be there and uh, you are getting the better uh, we can say range and you are getting the uh, better signal uh, to your mobile but in case of another uh, corner of your building uh, what happens there is a destructive uh, um, we can say the uh, signals are getting and uh, less amount of signal is received at the uh, receiving mobile and we are not getting the signal in well manner so that is nothing but the constructive uh, reflected wave and the destructive reflected wave so uh, when the radio wave propagating in one medium uh, incident upon another medium having different electrical properties the wave is partially reflected and partially transmitted always means reflected wave doesn't have the complete power which is uh, uh, getting uh, received from the we can say wave so that part we have to keep in mind perfect dielectric part of energy is transmitted into a second medium and the part of energy is reflected back into the first medium so no loss of energy uh, in in case of the absorption so reflected some part of the uh, wave is get reflected some part of the wave is refracted so that part also we have to keep in mind in case of the perfect conductors in case of perfect conductors what happens all incident energy is reflected back into the first in uh, first medium and no loss of energy so um in case of the perfect conductors only there is no any absorption or the refraction of the wave which is incident on the um, uh, uh, on the surface of the conductor uh, we, we can say so fraction um, that is reflected is described by the fractional equation and is uh, dependent upon the incoming lights polarization and the angle of uh, incident so these are the factors also uh, are very important in case of the uh, reflection in ground wave uh, uh, reflection two ray module is used normally uh in mobile radio channel signal direct path between the base station and the mobile is seldom only physical means for the propagation and the pre space uh, propagation module is inaccurate in most cases when used alone two ray module is based on the geometric optic and it considers both direct and the reflected path from the ground reasonably accurate for uh, predicting the large scale signal uh, strength over a distance of several kilometers from mobile radio system that use a tall towers normally what happens 
as we have discussed about the perfect dielectric and the conductor so uh, whatever the environmental conditions are there in that particular these are not the perfect dielectric or these are not the perfect conductor and that's why it may happen that the uh, uh, different type of scenario comes in picture for the ground reflection modules also um, ground reflection modules take into consideration the two things that is total power received or the total received signal E field, E total is result of the direct LOS that is line of sight component uh, and the ground reflected that is the uh, reflected component. So, E total can be calculated E LOS that is uh, uh, line of sight component of the electric field plus the reflected component of the electric field and uh, it is shown in, in this uh, diagram also that is transmitting antenna is there and the receiving antenna is there. Line of sight, um, line of sight wave is directly communicates with the receiving antenna and another is the ground reflected wave uh, is reflects from the ground and reaches to the receiving antenna. So, total electric field received at the receiving antenna is content of both that is the E LOS plus E R. LOS is the direct uh, wave getting from the transmitting to the receiving antenna and ER is the reflected wave uh, from the ground and reaches to the receiving antenna. Using this uh, method of the image, the path difference between the LOS and the ground reflected can be calculated and for the D that is the distance D is very very greater than the HD and HR path difference is the uh, we can say the delta uh, uh, D. So, phase difference theta of delta between two E field component and the time delay between two arrival of the two component is calculated with the help of this particular equation. So, um, delta is equal to delta is the distance between the two uh, we can say the um, receiving paths. So, D double dash is one of the path which is the direct path and the um, D dash is the another one which is the reflected path we can say. Um, 2 H T H R divided by D is the equation for calculation of the delta and uh, with the help of this if we are uh, multiply 2 pi by lambda into delta we will get the phase difference. So, 4 pi H T H R divided by D lambda will give us the phase difference at the receiving antenna from both the signals that is which is directly received signal and the reflected uh, received signal. For the large distance D is very very greater than root H T H R, P R can be calculated P R is equal to P T Z T G R into H T square H R square divided by d raise to 4. So, received power falls off with the distance raised to total fourth power at the rate of the 40 dB per decade and this is much more rapid path loss than the expected uh, due to the free space. So, this is about the today's um, uh, this uh, video. Thank you.